Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video. So in this video, we will be discussing or creating a code example, how to download a file from a URL using Java Neo. So basically sometimes in interview, this question can be asked if the project is using Java Neo right in their uh, ecosystem. So for example, if I am taking your interview and I am using Java Neo in my project, right? So I will make sure you have some knowledge of Java Neo, even not in depth, but I will try to make sure like you at least understand the basics of downloading a file, creating a file, right? So in that cases, this question may be asked to you. So let's see how to answer that. So here I have one dummy URL, so which we will use to download some sample PDF file, right? So here what I will do, I will create first file URL. So let's say private static final string and let's say file URL, right? something like this or we can give in the caps also and in the file url i will put this url so i will put this dummy url here so we want to download this file right and then i will just put private static final string whatever file name we want right so i will put that and then let's say we are putting interview dot pdf Right. so this is our fine name so we have to put this outside main so i will just copy here so i will put it outside main method so high level we have now two variables file url and file name here right outside main so now first step is we have to create a readable byte string so i will try to explain side by side what these terms means right if you are very new to uh, this input output operations right or java neo so first step is we have to create readable byte channel from url stream so what does that mean is we need to read from this url right so there should be something we have to use right so that something is known as readable byte stream basically readable byte stream is part of java neo right which allows you to read from read bytes basically from file or you can say from a source like file or network connection so this is readable bytes channel we will be using which is a part of java neo which will help us to read bytes from any source right in our case we have to read bytes from this url so now what i will say here first so i will say url url is equal to new url and in this url i will put that file underscore url right so and then this url we will be passing to readable byte channel so i will say readable byte channel here which is part of java.neo.channels right and then i will just give same thing readable byte channel and then channels dot new channel and inside this we want to open this url stream right because we want data from this url so I will just say here URL dot open stream, right? So if you will see open stream is a type of input. Stream. So this is how it will look like, right? When we open URL dot open stream. So it is giving some warning. So I think we need to add try catch. So I will just say add exception. And then this is also giving same. So I will just say add exception to method signature or you can also surround with try catch. So let's surround with try catch here, something like this, right? So for URL, it added in malformed URL exception at a method level. For this also, you can add it at a method level, but it's better at a try catch level so that we can uh, do proper logging, right? So now hope this line is clear, right? So readable byte channel is a part of Java Neo through which we will read bytes from the source. In this case, our source is URL and we are doing URL dot open stream, right? In traditional, we used to use input stream. So if you have worked on old Java, so before Java Neo, which, uh, so there was no readable byte channel, right? So before Java Neo, we used to use input stream, right? But with the help of readable byte channel, it is faster because it works with channels and buffers and it enables you to do a streaming faster as compared to traditional input stream. Okay. So, and then now our next step is we have to create a output stream, right? Because from this download, whatever we are downloading the bytes, we have to directly write that to this file, 
right so output stream will be our next step so i will write here step two so this is the step one so you can download this uh, code file also from the top right link so that you can see the comments so i will say read bytes here and then step two will be create a file output stream right file output stream to write a file basically so here what i will do file output stream then i will just give file output stream as a name and is equal to new and i will just pass the file name right file name so basically what it will do if this file name exists it will overwrite if it doesn't exist it will create a new one so next step is we have to use file channel so file channel will allow us to manipulate files using advanced operations before we used to uh, use output stream right uh, that was traditional before java uh, neo but now we use file channel so file channel i will say here so which is a part of java.neo.channels right and then i will say file channel is equal to file output stream dot get channel okay so this is how we created right so basically you have to remember two things here so before we used to use input stream but now we are using readable byte channel before we used to use output stream now we are using file channel right so now what we will do now our last step will be transfer the data from readable byte channel to file channel right so that we can see the data in the file so this is the most important uh, point here step 3 we need to transfer data from readable byte channel to file channel right and then what i will do file channel dot simple we have transfer from so transfer from we will just pass readable byte channel and we will just pass position so we want to start uh, from the zeroth position and count will be maximum size because we are not restricting right we want full file so we are saying start writing from the zeroth index or position and i want the full file so we can use here long dot max value so in this way our code is almost ready so after that we just have to uh, close the readable byte channel so let's close it readable byte channel dot close and then we have to do file output stream dot close right and then after that we can print something like this file download data successfully so transfer from is doing zero copy mechanism so what does that mean sometimes interviewer can ask you so before when we used to copyright by using input stream by using output stream right what happened was like they will read the data from source and then they will you know put the data into user space buffer and then it will write data from user space buffer to destination let's say file right so this was the traditional thing right but with the help of transfer from and file channel right java neo we can directly copy between the file system and the network buffer within the kernel so that means user space is never involved when we are using transfer from of file channel which is part of java neo so that's what you can explain in a simple word like before java neo there was a user space buffer right so the data was getting read then it was put to user space buffer then it was put to destination but with the help of this java neo user space is never involved so that means no memory copying right between kernel space and user space which means fewer cpu cycles spent on data transfer right so that's why it reduce the context switches which makes it as a faster and efficient library or method you can say hope this is clear so we can run the program so i will just refresh it again so we have so our goal was to download a file from a url using java neo so we created a readable byte channel our traditional way was to use input stream now we are using readable byte channel and giving the url then we are creating a file output stream to write a file 
then we are using file channel right and then inside file channel we are doing transfer from readable byte channel right and the data will come from this url so this is how we are doing and then transfer from is using zero copy mechanism so which means there is no user space buffer involved which means fewer your cpu cycles spent on data transfer so if now i will run the file so if you see here file downloaded successfully and if i open this so file should be here interview.pdf right so this is the name we gave here uh, interview.pdf right so this is just a dummy pdf file which got downloaded from this url by using java name so i will attach this code example so you can go through the comments also from for revision so good luck for your interviews